hello everybody welcome back to part four we got another great episode for you today and if you haven't watched part one two and three jump over there watch those videos they're good videos in the first one i explained the story and how we got these comics uh the original owner and all that's good stuff and how i found them so just watch part one that's in there and then part two and three a lot of fun a lot of comics so we got part four so we got another hundred or so comics to go through. They're all new stands. There might be a couple direct editions just to fill the runs in there, but uh, most are all new stands. The history of the comics, it's really, really cool to see uh, a comic directly from the person who bought it from the new stand originally. She must have been a, uh, a little girl at the time and probably went with her uh, father, uncle, or mother even. She bought comic books with their money. So that was really cool. And we got a few receipts that I found as well that uh, dated all the way back to 1985. She's bought comics right off the newsstand right there. A couple Canadian variant uh, price variants in there as well. Super, super cool. Super cool to see old receipts. It shows and tells so much. Um, I love seeing that. It's one of my passions to be able to find something so cool and to share it with you guys that that is the that's the coolest thing so i want i want to be able to share the whole experience with you guys because my son and i we found these comics we really really enjoyed that day it was a lot of fun i wish i could share that moment with you that was the best it was that we can never take back those are memories that will hold forever nevertheless i'm going to share the comics with you and that's the best i can do we'll, we'll go ahead and do that so in this video, it's going to be a very fun video and I got a surprise for you. Uh, the Christmas Moose has a surprise for you. We got a giveaway to one of you lucky subscribers. Very easy to get. So I'll show you what we're giving away here. These comics I found in Virginia uh, not too long ago when I was on a road trip with my uncles. Taking them back home, making sure that he'd come back home safely. So. There I went to a couple uh, comic shops and found uh, ROM number one right there. And these are all the old bags and the old boards, by the way, too. So I'll be changing all that before I, uh, before I send them off. Got ROM number three right there. Beautiful comic. This one right here has a nice white spine, so no color breaking. Uh, ROM number four in the newsstand as well. I'm just missing number two. And this one here has uh, one, two, three, four spine ticks that are color breaking. Uh, not a big deal on this one right here because it's very, very presentable. It's that black cover, really, really hard to maintain. It's the way I bought it though. Uh, ROM number seven. So I'm missing five and six. Okay, and I don't have them in my collection either. Uh, ROM number eight. And these are all actually the ROM books I have. I was never collecting ROM. I just thought that ROM was pretty cool and I've seen them. So I picked them up. So yeah, I'm gonna give them away to one lucky subscriber. So all you have to, very, very easy. All you have to do is subscribe, smash that like button, comment down below what your favorite superhero is, and or comic book all right so my favorite superhero i have two the punisher and wolverine and my favorite comic book is the af 15. so the amazing fantasy 15 first appearance of spider-man i think is the coolest comic book out there first appearance of batman is definitely on my top two but first appearance of spider-man is the coolest all right so once you do subscribe comment down below and smash that like button of course i will then give you a number in your comment and it'll be from one to whatever and then i'll take the number and you'll have a specific number and it'll go into a jar and then i'll pull whoever uh whoever's number out of the jar on the fifth part which will be the final part of this garage sale episodes i'm looking really forward to all your comments down below and as promised to the last giveaway which was the 100 subscriber giveaway all those uh entries will go back into this one here 
you have a chance to win these ROM comic books. All right, well, let's just get right on with it because we got a ton of comics to go through. We've got some Marvel Comics Presents Wolverine, number 44. Love these comics. Wolverine. Wolverine cover right there. And this is in the newsstand. I believe the barcode, let me check here. You can see right there, barcode in the back. And this is a uh, back cover as well. So it goes it's front and back. So it's pretty cool. I'm not going to do this with everyone, obviously, but that's what it looks like. Old comic books, they've been unbagged, a lot of them, and uh, no boards on any of them. It's not a surprise that there's spine ticks on these books. But a lot of them, like I showed you, there was an entire bin full of pretty nice looking books. And then we got uh, Marvel Comics Presents number 46. A sweet Wolverine cover right there. That one, Shadow Burst. Wish I can show you the back on all those. Uh, Sergeant Rock 19 in the newsstand. Thought this was a pretty sweet uh, cover with the Batman in there. And it does have that stupid spine tick right on the dark blue, or the sorry, the black on his on his cape. Um, so Deathlock 14. This one's in the newsstand. This one's actually in a original bag, so bagged and boarded over. Same with this one here. Deathlock number seven, new stand, Punisher. I love that one. Uh, Deathlock and Punisher. All right, we got Deathlock four in the new stand. And then we got this sweet uh, cover that I really like here. Deathlock three, a Doom cover right there. All right, we got what would be probably her first comics she's collected. Or pretty darn close. We got the All-Star Squadron, The Return of the Justice Society, Roy Thomas and Jerry uh, Ordway, and a Jerry Ordway cover. Uh, this one's number 19. In the new, uh, this, that's a non-newsstand right there. I think the only one. And uh, Jerry Ordway does all the penciling and inking inside as well. Something to look at. Then we got One Day During the War, Number 13, the All-Star Squadron, Joe Kubert art right there. We got uh, Hawkman battles his oldest foe to save, the All-Star Squadron, number 12. You already murdered me once, Haystar, but I won't let you kill me again, Hawkman says there. <laughs> All right, we got a uh, number 11. This is a Kubert cover as well. Will the greatest heroes of World War II even live long enough to find out? All Star Squadron number 11 right there. And we got Introducing the Most Awesome Foe Ever to Face, the All Star Squadron number 10. Is it an alien invader or something worse? You must read if an eye offend thee. A Joe Kubert cover as well. Pretty dope there. The Renegade Hero Called Steel versus the All Star Squadron. Ring of Fire, Ring of Fear, Kubert cover. This is a very cool cover right here. Uh, the All-Star Squadron number eight. In Mortal Kombat with the martial arts monster Kung to save his life of, Church of Winston Churchill. Featuring the sensational return of Steel, the indestructible man. The greatest hero of all time, the All-Star Squadron. Yeah, this I really like this cover. Really, really like this cover. But the All-Star Squadron is taking over. Another Kubert cover. Here is a really, really uh, nice cover. This is a uh, this is an Ordway cover as well. Um, so much different than a Kubert cover. The Penalty of Death. Pretty nice cover there. Liberty becomes a battleground for the All-Star Squadron, Firebrand, the greatest heroes of World War II. All right, we got Lady Liberty becomes the battleground for the, the All-Star Squadron, number five. This one's a non-newsstand, but a very, very nice cover right there. It's a Buckler and Tang Hall cover. Uh, so it's not a Joe Kubert cover. 
And this one right here, Fly Into Danger with the All-Star Squadron. The uh, book right here, I believe this would be getting into 1981 right here. And this is uh, number two, Joe Cooper cover right there. All right, so let me know if I'm seeing, if you guys see any keys or anything like that. Let me know in the comments. Uh, Power of the Atom, number 11, Cutting the Tension by Stern, Nolan, and Wilson. And this is a newsstand, nice high-grade book there, too. Uh, Power of the Atom, uh, number 10. So this is 1989. Uh, who is, what is, Humbug, Nolan cover. We got Power of the Atom from DC Comics. Guest starring Justice League International. And more Power of the Atom. Invasion First Strike Extra. Number seven. Invaded. Power of the Atom number six. This would be 1988 or 1989. But, uh, yeah. Cool there. And we got uh, Power of the Atom number five, guest starring the one and only The Elegated Man. Uh, it says Homnia, Homnia, Homnia. And from the pages of the Justice League, Sweetie Baby, let's do lunch. Max Lord. Maxwell Lord. Person to Person by Mr. Ralph Dimby. <laughs> All right. We got. Uh, Power of the Atom number 4, 1988, in the newsstand, featuring Hawkman and Hawkwoman. And a bonus book, free 16-page second feature. And a nice high-grade book there. And that was the last of those. And we're going to go on to some Starman books. All right, we've got some Starman books. All right, we got from 1989, Starman number 11 from DC Comics. And this one is a new stand there. We got Starman number 10, Batman lurking in the background here. Dark Knight in Monument Valley. He is looking like the monument. Right there, we got Batman. Pretty cool cover right there, actually. We got Starman number nine, 1989. Reintroducing Blockbuster. Guest starring Batman. Pretty dope. We got Starman number eight. All right. Enter Lady Quirk. We got Starman number eight. All right. Enter Lady Quirk. Not sure if any of these are keys or not. I guess I did look into them at one time, but a quick scan and I don't remember anymore. Uh, Starman number seven, 1989, non-newsstand. More than human. We got Starman thinking, doing some deep thought in that one. We got uh, Starman DC Comics and we got the Green Lantern sitting in there. So we got Invasion Aftermath Extra featuring Blue Beetle, Power Girl, The Atom, and The Power Elite. Check this comic out. Number six. Cool. Very cool. All right, Starman number five. Invasion First Strike Extra. Guest starring Firehawk, Firestorm, and Power Girl. Really, I really like this cover right here. Really like that cover right there. Starman books are not so bad. And I might have to give them a read. Starman number four, Meet the Power Elite by Stern Lyle and Smith. Pretty dope cover there. All right, we got uh, Starman vs. Bolt right there, number three in the newsstand. Starman field testing. So this cover is dope right here. Starman Field Testing, number two in the newsstand. And what do you know? There was a number one. Check it out. Amazing Debut Issue by Roger Stern and Tom Lyle and Bob Smith. Oh, yeah. So Tom Lyle does all the covers. 
Pretty nice covers here too. And this one as well in the newsstand. So a pretty nice run right there. I'm uh, kind of happy about those Starman, to be honest. That's pretty cool to have all of those in the newsstand like that. They're pretty in decent shape as well. So can't go wrong. All right, I think everyone has this comic, but I don't have, I never had this one in the newsstand. I do have this one in the direct issue, but I don't have it in the newsstand. So that's pretty cool. We got uh, Batman year three, number 439, part four of four with that George Perez cover. But the printing on this comic is just terrible. You can see, uh, you can see that spine right there. It's the only thing. So, but other than that, this comic is, man, comic's in nice shape. All right, we got some Star Trek comics now. Uh, 1992 annual Star Trek number three, right there in the newsstand. We got Star Trek, uh, The Next Generation, I believe number four. So that's a new stand right there. These are all out of order. Star Trek 43. This one is trapped. Star Trek 43 right there. Then we got annual 1991 number two. Uh, this one's in the new stand. This is a pretty, pretty decent shape, except for that top. It's all rough, but hmm. oh well. Nice little newsstand there. All right, so we got from the 1989 volume, number two, Star Trek, The Sentence. Really like that cover there. Pretty dope. All right, then we got Star Trek Annual number one. And this is in great condition here. Uh, great cover as well. Newsstand. Very fortunate enough to grab these in the newsstand. From that original owner, like right here, this is amazing. This Star Trek number one in the newsstand, which is in which is in great condition right here. Check this out. Very fortunate enough to to have that comic book right there. She kept that one in great condition. Let me tell you. I do have this one in a direct issue as well, so that's pretty cool. So now I got both. I like that about collecting. I like to, the variations in newsstands and direct issues, I believe are two different cool comic books. So it's not just the newsstands I like. I also like direct issues as well. We got Armageddon 2001, 1991 book. This is a Dan Jurgens, So this is a pretty special book right here and to have in a newsstand as well. At last, the shocking identity of Monarch revealed. Very, very cool cover right there. There is two hairline uh, color breaking, small little creases in the corner right here. Very small, if you can see. All right, we got uh, Quasar number nine in the newsstand. I think this is the first appearance of Modam. Not sure, might be a small key there. It has a bunch of spine ticks on it though. All right, we got Quasar number six. And this is 1989. I absolutely love, love this book right here. It's one of my favorite books of all time. That book is actually one of the first appearances of Venom on the front cover. I'm not sure if it's the first uh, front cover appearance of Venom or not, but it is a huge key like for that reason but i did notice that years ago and uh i have a couple of those in my collection already and i always like if i see them in the dollar bin i'm definitely going to grab one they're totally worth grabbing because they are like that is the i believe that is the first cover appearance of venom right there so very very cool book all right so we got quasar number five the absorbing man goes cosmic in the newsstand quasar number two Quasar must first survive a deadly duel with Death Herge. All right, to learn his cosmic destiny from Eon. Also in the newsstand. And I do have in my collection 
quasar number one somewhere in there but uh it wasn't in here and then we got namer number four black cover there new stand pretty cool does have a bunch of spine ticks though that sucks black cover very very hard cover to uh to keep up all right we got some x-men classics uh 1999 uh 1991 number 66 in the newsstand death at the edge of the universe nice wolverine cover there number 60 another wolverine cover and we got x-men classic number 59 first blood nice red cover there all right we got some zorro books here uh i think it's the whole run uh in this grand finale issue zorro faces its greatest challenge so yeah this must be the last book and this is a new stand <clears throat> black cover man can't get rid of those spine ticks but that is all right um, Zorro number 11, the new stand. Wedding Day Blues on that one. Uh, number 10, very cool book. Very, very cool books here. Uh, Zorro number 9, in the new stand as well. And we got number 8, love this cover. That horse, got number seven, another beautiful cover there. All these Zorro books are pretty dope. And we got number six right here. All right. And Zorro number five. And then we got Zorro number four in the newsstand. While Victoria's brothers hunt for the Zorro, the masked swordsman faces the loss of Felipe, his most trusted companion. It's all relative danger. Nice Zorro cover there. All right, we got Zorro number three in that newsstand. Right there. And nice yellow cover right here. Zorro number two. We don't have Zorro number one, but I do have it in the direct issue. And if I do have it, it might be, it might be something I pressed. I don't know. I, I might, I might have had it, but I know I have it in the direct issue for sure. Because I do have a few Zorro books of my own collection. All right, we got Superboy number eight. I think this is pretty cool because it was a, uh, DC Universe in a nice high grade. Well, all right, we got a pretty cool Dan Jurgens cover right here, and just two Dan Jurgens covers, but that's all right. 477, 478 Superman, there. 477, and then we got 478. Nice Dan Jurgen Superman covers. Then we got 504-1993. This is a Kessel, Grummet, and Hazelwood cover. Hazelwood book. Got Superboy in there as well. And we got uh, The Adventures of Superman 506. And nice looking book here. Um, yeah. I think I just left this one in the... Uh, in the old poly. We got the Adventures of Superman 532. That newsstand. That's a pretty sweet cover right there. Looks like he's going to save the day. Uh, we got Justice League Europe 36. And the end of an era. Not sure what uh, significance that one is. Let me know if that's a key if you know. Uh, we got uh, Justice League International. Keith Giffen uh, book right here. This is number 25. Justice League Europe Breakdowns Part 2. Uh, Justice League Europe number 29. That's in a uh, 
That's in a newsstand there. Pretty cool. And then we got the Armageddon 2001 Justice League Europe, number two, 1991 in the newsstand. That's pretty cool. All right, we got some Catwoman books now. Left these in the original poly. Love this cover right here, number nine. And what year was this? 1994. So there was one of the newer, newer comics of her day. And we got Catwoman uh, Night Quest The Crusade. So number seven right here. These are all really, really cool covers. And as well from the newsstand, Catwoman number six. And we got Catwoman number five in that newsstand. Catwoman number four. And this is one of the coolest covers in the Catwoman run for sure. Number two. Love that cover. Absolutely. What a gorgeous cover right there. So number three and number one. Don't have them. We got uh, from New Universe uh, Marvel Star Brand. 1986, the year I was born. And this one right here, the new in a newsstand. Star Brand number three in the newsstand. And then we got um, Hawk and Dove number 19, 1990. Some madhouse going on down there. And we got number 17, Hawk and Dove. So these are these are pretty cool covers. These Hawk and Dove covers. This is number uh, sixteen here, and we've got number fifteen. Really like that cover, Hawk and Dove. All right, we got some uh, Ultraverse comic books. The Strangers, number six, in that newsstand, and the Strangers, number five. Now. Don't know too much about these books here, but they are in nice shape. All right, I'm not sure if you've ever heard of these comics uh, from Techno Comics, Mickey Spillane's Mike Danger. Some of you might heard it, some of you might not. I know I have not heard about it until uh, I got these comic books. So this is the first time for me. They're pretty cool comic books. So we got Mike Danger number 11, A Child in the Future. Sweet. Pretty sweet covers anyways. Mike Danger number 10. And we've got number 9 right there. We've got number 8. And most of these are in high grade. Except for this one right here. This smoky blue one right here. This is number 6. So I'm missing number 7. This one has spine ticks on it. So most of the damage from the collection is usually color breaking spine ticks. That's what most of the damage is. We got number five right here. This is a nice high grade book. The cover I really like right here, not very much of a high grade book at all. That's number four. And then we got number three, Mike Danger. And we got number two there. So we almost have the entire run, number one, right there. Almost have the entire run, but missing number seven. And I'm not sure if it ends at 11 or not, but that's the last book I have. That's an alias uh, breakdown. So this one, number five in the newsstand. We got alias blast point, number four. These are all newsstands. So they just have the usual color breaking spine ticks, one or two or three. So we got Alias Firestorm number three. Love all of these covers. They're all newsstands. And we got Alias Stormfront number two. So these are uh, these are definitely mid-grade. They're you know seven. Seven to eight grade for sure. 
I think this one was mixed up from another garage sale one I got, but either or, I had two of these books. So this is Alias Stranglehold number one. Look at that. And I have two of these ones right here, and I found both of them in the garage sale. So it might be a mix up. Team America from 10 to 1, the entire run, which I uh, completed it at the garage sale of comics. So really, really happy to do that. Team America number 10, number 9. We'll just quickly go through these. Uh, number 8, and this is actually Canadian variant right there. And number seven, and number six, number five, number four, right there. So number six, five, and seven were all Canadian variants. And we got number three right here, and number two and then we've got of course the big copy number one in the high grade which i believe i found that one at another garage sale so this wasn't part of the collection this was just added to the run which i think it was only that one and yeah that one and number two and uh, number four i believe that was it so there you go, some nice Team America books there. All right, well, that round of comics is uh, completed. Hope you all enjoyed those covers and comics. I sure did. Um, please do like and subscribe. Make sure you do comment down below your favorite comic book or superhero to get your chance to win these comics right here. Probably have a pretty good chance to win them. They're not the best uh comic book in the world i mean but they are a nice it is a nice comic book so make sure you do subscribe make sure you do like uh the video we will announce the winner in part five which will be the rest of those comic books and then maybe later on in another video we'll do some price analysis for those um canadian variants because i like to do that but we won't have enough time in that video to do that. So that'll be a lot of uh, another video down the road. So another topic to do on a YouTube video. So anyways, I really enjoyed it. I uh, had a lot of fun this video. Please do, again, hit that like and subscribe. Catch you guys on the next one.